in the top lip. Another quality roach. Right then guys, welcome to another episode of Hooked. My name's John Murray and I'm an angling addict and today I'm down on the River Foss. Uh, I'm actually just below the basin where the uh, Foss Barrier, they're actually working on it at the moment and increasing the height of that. And uh, down to my left I've got the Blue Bridge where it opens up into the River Ouse. So today I'm just intending on fishing a little bit of bread punch. Uh, I'm only going to fish the short pole. I'll show you the rig shortly. It's just a slim pencil float type, one gram. Uh, sometimes the flow gets up a little bit on this. I'm not sure whether it's when the pumps kick in or out, but um, yeah, for some reason it, it's a little bit like a canal. This section it is a canalised section of river, really. So yeah, I'm hoping to get stuck into a few skimmers, roach, uh, maybe some bream, perch. Who knows? Let's see what comes along. As ever, guys, if you enjoyed the videos, give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss an episode every time I upload one. Right, let's get some baiting. So today's bait is punch crumb, and uh, I've got a little bit of oyster shell in that, so you can probably see them in there. It's damped down, it's lovely, it's a bit of marukyu, spice punch, and uh, just liquidised bread basically. So that's going to break down lovely, go down to the bottom. I'm just going to start with a tangerine sized ball. Pop this in at five metres. That's gone down nicely. Okay, so here's the rig. Uh, it's just one of these one gram pencil floats. It's almost like a stick float, but with a pole float tip. Probably around about one mil that, and it's uh, just a fibre tip. There's about 10 foot of depth. Uh, we've got a small olivette there, 0.8 gram, and as usual, one, two, three, four droppers, six inches to the hook, which is a size 20, fine match. Bait is just standard Warburton's bread, and I'm going to start out on a four mil punch. So that's it, nice little bit of punch on there. And all we're going to do is lower it in five metres over that bait. And see if we can get some bites. Canal's just started towing slightly. So it doesn't pull too hard here. We're just having the sort of stick float type little float. Just helps me hold back if I need to. And there we go, the first bite. Wasn't immediate, I had to uh, Drop down river a little bit for it. That's a lovely little roach. Smashing. Temperature when I got up this morning was minus three, so we're still in winter mode really. Even though it's the early part of March. So we'll just lower this rig back in. See if we can find another. I think there's a lot of pike chasing in this section. It's a renowned piking area and uh, there's fish scattering all over the place down here. Seen a couple of great big swirls. Although it's reported there's an otter in here, so you never know. There we go, we've got another fish on. Oh, looks foul up. Small skimmer. Might just need to shallow up a little bit. I'm going to foul look a few like that. The bread might have just lifted them off the bottom a bit. Just 
see how we go. I'm only just touching bottom. There's an awful lot of debris on the surface at the moment, so it's uh, a little bit difficult spotting the float. Hopefully it'll clear out as it flows through. Down towards the bridge it's rafted. It looks like there's been a storm and there's logs and all sorts down there. Cracking bite that. Just tried downstream and it buried. Another little roach. So I've dropped onto the three mil punch size. I just want to keep these fish tight in this area today. I don't want to split them up on different lines. We could fish a line further out. It's a little bit awkward with a wall behind me. Um, but there shouldn't really be any need to do that in here. There's such a good head of fish. Just moving through real slow. It's perfect for fishing the short pole really. Don't need a long lash. I'm going to shallow up an inch, maybe two. That last fish, I didn't spot the bite, it was on. The skin beforehand was foul looked, so um, yeah, I think maybe they just sat a little bit higher in the water. Just hold that down ever so slightly. Well, that's a solid bait, but the fish was on. Another one. Shallowing up that couple of inches is making the difference. Nice fish this. Lovely stamp roach. Lift bite that one. Yeah. <laughs> just, just chuck off that barrier. It's <laughs> another lift bite. I'm starting to pick these up so. Possibly even shallowing up a little bit more will work. But we're catching all right. We seem to have found the bread. It's 
So the intention is just to fish out a ball, wait while the bites die and then top the swim up. Don't want to overfeed the swim. They're not on this electric, but the fish are starting to find the bread, I think. So um, yeah, hopefully we're in for a good day. Really rapid bite there. Tiny fish, but we hit it. Must be the smallest roach I've ever seen. When fish are that small, having one of these micro disgorges with a tiny little end on really counts so that you don't damage them. These slim pencil floats just strike through the water beautifully. There's no body on them, so you know the, the strike is unimpeded really. They cut back through the water lovely, so your strike is straight into that fish. Elastic today is the Matrix Slick Yellow, and it's pretty soft stuff. Um, you don't bump too many on it. Not bumped one today so far. Well, it's all going on. Um, there's an otter swimming around in here and he's been causing havoc. He's been up and down, blowing bubbles all over the place. I've got a piker next to me. He's uh, a little bit worried he's going to catch it. <laughs> so that'll be interesting if we get that on camera. Um, yeah, so what have we had? We've had a couple of big hybrids out so far. Uh, plenty of roach. I've put three balls of the uh, punch crumb in and um, we're still getting bites, but obviously the otter's playing a little bit of havoc with the swim, so just got to keep waiting for that to disappear, and we're just dropping in, still fishing 3 mil punch, taking out what we can. See if we can get a few on camera for you. And that's another fish. Is he there again? Oh uh, yeah. As long as he stays down there, I'm all right. <laughs> Still catching, so he's disappeared for now. Well, certainly sitting over that bread. Oh, lovely roach. Another little beauty.
So the fishing stayed relatively consistent when the otter disappears. Most of the fish I'm catching probably about a metre and a half down to the left of where I put the bait in, which is kind of what you'd expect in 10 foot of water. Ooh, that was a fast bite. What a nice little roach. <laughs> Not many babbies, but we'll take them. There's another fish. Another bite, another fish. <sighs> it happens. Flow's picked up. I seem to like it when it flows through. Funny how I had them couple of hybrids early yards and then no more. Yeah. Just turned up, didn't they? Yeah. That ain't gone all day, has it though? That's gonna take a that's gonna take a big flow for that lot to disappear. Yeah. What go until river comes up again that now? Because I know for a fact they'll be coming back. We can't get access through that unless they're going way through all the shit. Oh, what 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 looking then? <laughs> Fish on. It's over a stick at the Ah, the rafts of rubbish that are coming through here now. Oh, no, come here. Let's try and steer him round it, but I can't get can't get off this twig. That's oh, a lovely roach as well. Another lovely roach. Looks like we're going to get an enforced break, the amount of stuff that's flowing down this river now. Don't know what's going on. It's all building up in the mouth of the ooze there, as it enters the basin. It's just pallets, logs, trees. It's like somebody's just dumped a load of garden waste in. Bizarre. Lovely, lovely roach. Another beauty. Another nice fish on. It feels like we're getting a few quality ones coming in now. Oh, that's another lovely red fin. And all them four pieces of bread. Quality roach. Getting better, getting bigger. Good fish. Feels like it. Oh yeah, that's good. Make sure your clutch is set. A 
Go on, Steve. <laughs> yes, baby. Straight in the scissor as well. I'll do the honours. Thank you ever so much. <laughs> hey. There you go, sir. Thank you ever so much for that, mate. Oh. You're welcome. <laughs> yes. And um, you've always got to get one at least today. It's not that fat, but... Not a bad fish. It's, it's really fat, though. Come on. It is a fat little fish. Jesus, look how wide that is. That's one angry pike. <laughs> Took it. Boom. Oh, the mucker. <laughs> <laughs> Perseverance. So, how many hours? I've been start, started half seven. What time is it now? Quarter past two. That's persistence. <laughs> it is. Tenacity. <laughs> well in, mate. Right. I'll let you unhook it. Yeah. <laughs> well, Steve the Pikers just managed to uh, get a pike out about eight pound, as you've seen. Well done, Steve. Right, I'm going to put one final top up in, I think, um, and fish it out. It's got about an hour and a half to go. We've not done anything differently, we've just fished the three mil punch all day. The fish have pretty much stayed on the line all day, so it's, uh, it's not been that difficult. Just the odd issues with the otter, that was swimming up and down in the swim and an awful lot of debris that's floating down from upstream. So we'll just bob one more ball in. In she goes. Right, let's see if this last ball of top up is going to bring these fish back on to the end. We're starting to get some decent quality roach. I'd like a couple more of the hybrids out. I'm not sure they're going to turn back up. There we go, we're straight into a fish. So the top up ball aren't armed. I seem to be getting a nice stamp these roach. Another lift bite there. <laughs> so we're getting down to the end of the day now. We're still catching roach. We've had a fantastic day down here on the foss. I'm going to get a few more out for the camera and then we'll get the net out at the end. We'll see what we've had. So I've just continued lowering that rigging all day long using a three mil piece of punch. It really has been the bait today. It's a tiny little bit of bread but it does swell up quite a lot when you add it in the water for a while. Some of the bites have been fantastic. I've had quite a lot of lift bites as well. Quite a variety really. I had a couple of cracking hybrids this morning as I said. Um, so when we get the net out at the end, I'll show you those. Well, I say the hybrids, they might actually be silver bream, so when I get them out, you'll let me know what you think they are. There we go. It's a good roach, we'll swing it. Another lovely fish. In the top lip. In again. Just held the float down ever so slightly that one. Not like a full bite. And another roach.
Whoa, lift back there. Yeah, that fish was on. It was up and down on the float there. Considering the overnight temperatures, fishing has been absolutely incredible on the bread. We've kept these fish coming all day long. Something on that again. She's gone. Oh, lovely. Oh, another fish. Coming on strong. Yeah? Again, in the top lip. Lovely roach to finish. <laughs> that looks a great fish. As soon as I get this wrapped up, I'll be with you. Yes, lovely. <laughs> that's, that's a chunk. That's a double. Be a bit of line on there. Oh, sorry, mate. I almost stabbed you in the face. <laughs> no, you are, isn't it? One bit first time. <laughs> Jesus, I didn't think I was going to do some weightlifting. <clears throat> Fat again. That could be. Yeah, could be. Ooh. That's a definitely a double, isn't it? That it's, it's, yeah. One is it? No, 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 no. It's no. Just I'm putting it about maybe twelve, eleven. I'd say another awesome fish, Steve. Well done, yeah, mate. Thank you. PB? Uh, no, no, not quite. No, seventeen's my PB. This came out eleven two, was it? You say eleven two? Yeah, yeah. eleven two. Nice fish, though, nonetheless, though. Had a few wounds. Yeah. I don't know where the blood's coming from though. Bit of a battler, just out of his fin there at top. Oh. Or her fin. Check down that throat and make sure there's no other hooks or anything. No, she's good. 11 pound two. It's a girl. <laughs> yeah. Right, let's get some it's photos beautiful. for you. <laughs> no, she's beauty. beautiful. Right guys, we're done for the day. So let's get them out, have a look, see what we've had. Do us a snap of them then, buddy. Yeah. There we go. A lovely net of about eight or nine pound of silvers. Some lovely, I think they're silver bream. Um, they definitely look a little bit unusual compared to a normal bream. Quite deep bodied. Let me know in comments if you think they're a silver bream. Spot on with them, I'm happy with that. Pull it in half then. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I hope you enjoyed this video down on the Foss Basin guys, I've thoroughly enjoyed the day's fishing. So if you did, give me a thumbs up, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss an episode every time I upload one. Thanks for watching, and until the next one, tight lines.